সালামু আলাইকুম শুভ দর্শক বিজ্ঞাপন বিরতির পর আমরা আবারো ফিরে এসেছি এই মুহূর্তে যারা টিভি সেটের সামনে বসেছেন আপনারা জানেন আমরা কি নিয়ে এবং কাকে নিয়ে কথা বলছি প্রিয় দর্শক আজকের এই সেই ডায়ালগের ইস্যু হচ্ছে সাম্প্রতিক সময়ে যে বলা হয়েছে মুসলমানদের উপর আক্রমণ করা হবে এবং মুসলমানরা যাতে ঘর থেকে বের না হন এবং 3 তারিখে একটি তারিখ বেঁধে দেওয়া হয়েছিল এবং 3 তারিখ গত 3 এপ্রিল অর্থাৎ গত পরশু দিন আজকে তো 12 টার পরে 5 তারিখ হয়ে গেছে তিন তারিখে যাতে মুসলমানরা গর থেকে বের না হন তাদের উপরে আক্রমণ করা হবে অনুনমাস কিছু চিঠিও আমাদের লোকরা রিসিভ করেছিলেন এবং সেখানে ইসলামনের যে অবস্থাটি দাঁড়িয়ে ছিল সেখানে আমি দেখেছি মঙ্গলবারে গত মঙ্গলবারে আমি যেটা দেখেছি এখানে পপলার এক্রিপ স্ট্রিট মার্কেটে মানুষের আনাগোনা কম ছিল এবং অনেকেই গর থেকে বের হননি এবং এখনো অনেকে গর হাতে গর থেকে বের হওয়ার সাহস করছেন না আমি যেটি বলতে চাই আমাদের কমিউনিটিতে যারা আছেন মুসলমান যারা আছেন এরকম কোন কিছু ঘটলে যে বের হবেন না তা কিন্তু না আপনাকে বের হতে হবে যাতে আমরা যাতে সেফ থাকি বা আমাদের যাতে সেফলি চলাফেরা করতে পারি আমরা সেই ব্যবস্থা আমাদেরকে করতে হবে এবং যারা লোকাল পলিটিশিয়ান আছেন এবং যারা আমাদেরকে কাউন্সিলার আছেন মেয়র আছেন তাদের উচিত কি আমাদেরকে প্রটেক্ট করা এবং তারা পুলিশ দিয়ে প্রটেক্ট করুন আর তারা নিজেরাই বা নিজেরাই যদি প্রটেক্ট করেন তাহলে আমাদের কিছু যায় আসে না তবে পাবলিক সাধারণ মানুষ কি চায় একজন মেয়র একজন কাউন্সিলার একজন এমপি সাধারণ মানুষের নিরাপত্তার জন্য যতটুকু করা দরকার সেটি তাকে করতে হবে এবং সেখানে পুলিশ যদি বাড়াতে হয় তাহলে বাড়াতে হবে কারণ আমরা যারা ট্যাক্স পেয়ার আমরা তো ট্যাক্স দেই এবং সেখানে পুলিশের ভূমিকা রয়েছে এবং পুলিশ যাতে কাট না করা হয় যেটি বলছেন হক বাই কাট কাট এন্ড কাট কাট তো কোনো সমস্যার সমাধান নিয়ে আসতে পারে না এবং আমাদের যদি পুলিশ কাট করা হয় তাহলে সেখানে ক্রাইম বাড়বে এবং নির্বাচনের আগে আমরা অনেককেই দেখি তারা প্রতিশ্রুতি দেন যে আমি আবার নির্বাচিত হলে বা নির্বাচিত হলে আমি এটি করব সেটি করব কিন্তু নির্বাচনের পর পরই অনেক কথা তারা বলে যান এবং সেখানে লোকাল যারা ভোট দিয়ে তাদেরকে নির্বাচিত করেন তারাও কিন্তু তাদেরকে জিজ্ঞাসাবাদ করেন না অ্যাকাউন্টেবিলিটি নেই এবং অ্যাকাউন্টেবিলিটি শুধু পাবলিক করবে না মিডিয়া উচিত অ্যাকাউন্টেবিলিটির ভিতরে নিয়ে আসে তাদেরকে কিন্তু অনেক সময় দেখা যায় যে আপনি যদি কোনো ইস্যু নিয়ে কথা বলেন কাউকে দাওয়াত দেন যে ভাই আপনি আসেন উনি বলবেন না আমি আসতে পারব না আজকে আমরা অনেকেই এখানে আমন্ত্রণ জানিয়েছি এবং তারা অনেকেই আসতে পারেননি কেউ কেউ বলছেন যে আমি ক্যাম্পেইন করছি দৌড় নক করছি কিন্তু যে ঘটনা ঘটছে এবং যেখানে মানুষ বের হতে পারছে না তাদের ব্যাপারে তাদের উদাসীনতা কিন্তু তারাই আবার রিপ্রেজেন্ট করবেন এই কমিউনিটিকে প্রিয় দর্শক আপনারা যারা এস এম এস করছেন বা টেলিফোন করছেন আমরা আপনাদের ফোন কল নিব তবে তার আগে দেখি হক ভাই আর কি বলেন হক ভাই আপনার কাছে চারটি হেডলাইন ছিল আপনি বলছিলেন যে চল্লিশ বছরে আমরা আগে মাতিছি অনেক জিনিস অনেক মানুষে কেরিয়ার বানাইছেন অনেকে কাউন্সিলার হয়েছেন অনেকে বিজনেস স্পন্সারশিপ আনছেন অনেক ধরনের প্রোফাইল বানাইছেন বানাইয়া আলতাবালির নাম ইউজ করছেন ফাইল who took up that position and said that he was victimized for his race ethnicity religion nationality origin so we are saying that that has to stop mm. people have to stop capitalizing mm. on the martyrdom of an innocent man because of his color and this is coming within 10 10 years if you like of martin luther king's mm. murder because 78 and 68 10 years apart mm -hmm. so internationally it is the same context and i have to say that i pay tribute in this context to winnie mandela despite all the mm. allegations of various improprieties in her mandela football club and all the rest of it she did contribute uniquely to the resolute 
defiance of apartheid racist murderous regime that her husband was jailed for and she gave him sustenance in a way that nobody else could have done that and she took on a lot mm -hmm. and she sacrificed a lot and she paid a lot in her life so i pay tribute to her despite all the you know individual errors that she made as a human but being. she said sorry for it yes but i'm just yeah. doing both things so we have to internationalize our cause and claim and action against racism generally mm -hmm. against anti muslim hatred and in the context of doing al tawali's 40th anniversary of his murder yeah and i said that what i said about the mosque and people showing their faces mm -hmm. i'm not decrying them being there i'm saying that that is not enough yes. we have to do more than just standing there with placards because these are the same people many of them are members of the prevent movement of the home office and in fact elaine bagshaw works for the home office she was there as well so we have to distinguish between the placard barriers and the actual action what action is being taken to deter the racists from distributing something as audacious as that how dare they who gave them the confidence to say that murder the muslims bomb the mecca and all the other things that they said who gave them the confidence they knew that they would not be prosecuted mm -hmm. and the system would protect them the second point is that about the ongoing election campaign that is going on i say, said in the back break that what will be the difference is there going to be any difference in the council's accountability to the community after this election that is scheduled on the 3rd of may a day before al tawali's anniversary is observed yeah we have to ask the question and i have to urge the viewers for all master of year apnara matok ka zara butol lagya hai apnara lage se bile acha bhai sahab hol boy no hol apnara dua is your hol kita apnara diva amra re next time election will be apnara jitto hai kita disoy apnara disoy kita amra re de aiya apnara amra to diya apnara re amra to na kholi amra apnara kita ditra amra re ar sair bosor to barsho ashombhob nai sair bosor is a long time wilson or ek এক সপ্তাহ ইজ এ লং টাইম ইন পলিটিক্স আর এটা কত সপ্তাহ দেখা যায় সাইড সাইড বসো তো আমরা এইখান জিগা করতাম সাই বুটার হলে যে যারা আমরা গেছে আইত্রা আর কি আর তিন নম্বর কথা হলো এটার লগে যে কানেকশন আমরা আছে যে বিভিন্ন ধরনের যে ইনস্টিটিউশন আছে এগুলার বিহেভিয়ার বদলিব নি এই যে এখন যেটা আমরা মাতিয়া গেছি এখানে তো এই যে কইলাম যে পুলিশে সাইজ জন পাঁচ জন ছয় জন মারা গেছে এক সপ্তাহের ভিতরে বা fatally now we know severely injured mainly black on black mm. and asian on asian eta kita lagyo narrative ta kita ebong who is responsible for it amra ekhane agree korchi je amra ekhane joto issue hoye jabe sob ta media er paro ulase e program o amra hole tomare command korchi lord korchi tomare approval amra biar je tumi eta korrai kintu you have to do it consistently you cannot do it one of one time and then give it up and it will be good others join in no, other have, media's you join to, in you have to be the banner carrier in the media terms of the movement that is lacking and you said you have yourself three four programs ago that there is no leadership mm -hmm. so that leadership has to come from your contributing to the raising of the consciousness mm -hmm. for the need for a leadership mm -hmm. and finally the point i, I have to make is that the time has to be given enough time for the consideration of all these issues because these are heavy duty stuff these are not gossipy stuff these are very very central stuff and they they are so important that the british house of commons mm -hmm. the british house of peers the british executive the prime minister the minister of defense whatever and the minister of home office whoever is responsible for whatever they are all failing to raise the alarm to uphold the human rights of the people that are being collectively targeted for massacre genocide a call for genocide has been made in this letter mm -hmm. and i'm saying that united kingdom is still an active signatory of the founding treaty of the united nations signed in 1948 20 years before martin luther king was murdered 
30 years before Altavali was murdered. And, you know, 31 years before Blair Peach, a white man. Who but who's going who gonna to do this, um, uh, uh, Bhai? You are talking about uh, um, uh, these um, things uh, going to be um, uh, or taken to be United Nations. So no, who's no, no, going to no, no, do no, this? Sorry, I didn't say that. I did not say that. I said the British government mm -hmm. as a state has an obligation to carry out its legal duty as a signatory to the treaty upholding the human rights. It is not protecting the people that have been targeted by a genocidist, massacrist call. Mm -hmm. The British government, the Home Secretary, Ambar Rad, did not issue a statement saying that it is completely unacceptable, we shall track them down, that they can do that mm -hmm. if they want to. Why haven't they done that? And if they have not done that, then they have broken the treaty obligations under the United Nations. That's what I'm saying. We have to raise it. Here we are raising it mm -hmm. and we are speaking in English. Do you think this British government will ta uh, take uh, necessary action? Of course they will. No, no, no. Because if we can create enough pressure mm -hmm. in the constitution. Who gonna, this is my primary question. Is who going to uh, give pressure to uh, do this? The elected members. Look, I, who? I think who? 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 The elected members. Yes, elected members who? Who are the elected yes, members sure, in sure, our elements? Sure. Can I finish? Councillors. Mayors. Elected mayors. This is a constitutional law issue. This is not a gossipy conversation that I'm having. Uh -huh. This is a constitutional law issue. This is the center of the constitutional crisis uh -huh. we have here in, in Brexit. Uh -huh. If you look at Brexit, uh -huh. it is a mess. They cannot handle it. The barristers, QCs, solicitors and all the rest of it. You mm -hmm. know, they can't work out, they can't make sense. Do you think it's, it's, it's Tower Hamlets, it's the you know, local community? Do you think it's a uh, big mess? It is an absolute mess. Thank you. And it's a typical mess. Can I... <laughs> <laughs> can I... Can I, can I, can I <laughs> Do you think it's New Ham, it's another mess? These are, these are, these are extensions of the, of the dysfunction in the state. That is what it is. It is because you've got you've got Robin Robin Wales, an executive mayor. Mm -hmm. You had him on the seventh of March, mm -hmm. and you heard him say that everything was fine. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I say to him that the councillors are coward. You know, mm -hmm. cowed by him, scared by him. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing happening here in Tower Hamlet without naming names. Mm -hmm. The mayor's influence mm -hmm. is so powerful that he intimidates other councillors and they don't speak mm -hmm. and the mayor dominates the council meetings he is not a councillor mm -hmm. he doesn't have any constitutional say on the council and yet he's imposed there and he controls the council that but, is the but on the other hand Hogbai, it is also we have to say that the people's movement and the councillors movement in Neom has now seen a fresh face so we have to acknowledge that at the same time yes there are you know, those kind of politicians, including dictators. Even Mugambe had to move on. He was the first one who's, who was firstly elected. Now, he changed in a, such a way, he now has to move on. So, pe politicians can be held accountable and they can be kicked out. No, so, sorry, can I just finish? I was saying, I, I, I'll come to that. If we, if we have to talk about Zimbabwe, we'll have... No, no, no. I'm just giving you an no, example, no, 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 as you have given you and United Nations. No, no, no. <laughs> this, this, this is, as I say, this is the responsibility of the UK government, and I'll say that again. The United Nations agency that investigated the benefit sanctions in Britain actually carried out an investigation for a year and published a report condemning the British government for sanctioning the most vulnerable people who, some of them, you know, thousands, hundreds of them committed suicide. So this is a violation of the United Nations obligation. This is how we shame the mm. regime. That is how we bring pressure. You cannot go and physically throttle them, you know. That is the, that is the thing. This is the democratic way. We can raise the issues mm -hmm. and we can give the evidence. That is the most we can do. We can't carry guns like Donald Trump, you know, encourages, mm -hmm. you know. We have to be rational logical and we have to be patient but we have to be based on evidence mm -hmm. and we have to have international standards applicable you know that is what we are saying we are not saying that give us some favors we are muslims we are saying you are signatory to the international standards apply, apply that standard and carry that out 
and that is that is final point about the Brexit is that once they actually if they come out of Brexit, yeah, uh, EU, that some of the laws that were passed by Britain as a result of being part of the European, if you like, project mm -hmm. will be scrapped. One of the main casualties will be the European Convention for Human Rights, human rights on rights. which yes. the 1998 UK Human Rights Act is based. Although it was passed under Blair, UK had been obliged to pass an act, mm -hmm. even you know during the Tory regimes. Mm -hmm. So there are serious implications about the constitution. If you don't have a constitution, you cannot run a government, you cannot run a society, you can't hold anybody to account. That's why I'm talking about Biggs not being a councillor, holding to ransom his his party's kind of councillors who are cowed by him, just like Robin Wales did in New York. So we have to change that dictatorial, unaccountable, anti-democratic mayoral system, and that is how we begin to stop the mess, you know, continuing into our hamlets, just as a hopefully beginning has been made by deselecting. Robin, thank, you. thank you. I, I think thank you. one one thing that I want to mention is um, a few. I think a few weeks ago um, there was a sentencing of um, two far right activists, right? And when you compare these sentencing, it's ridiculous. I think one got twelve weeks, another one got thirty six weeks. Mm -hmm. Maybe for legal reasons, I'm not going to mention their name, and mm -hmm. I don't want to publicize them. Mm -hmm. That's what they really want, right? I think um, in Boots, if you nick, I don't know, some crisp, you probably get that, that the time you will get. But these people were sig um, very uh, significant in, in um, stirring up hate amongst the communities. And even to the extent, because of their vile words, you had people attacking Muslims. Like when um, they had no knowledge of Islam and no knowledge of the Quran, and they will go out there and... Uh, um, speak about Islam in a way that we Islam advocates violence, which is absolutely wrong. I agree with some of the points that Hogby was saying, but I, I, I have to disagree with the point. Um, if I have understood correctly, I think it's important to show unity, um, whether it's coming together in front of a mosque or a church or whatever it is. Politicians from all backgrounds, the community leaders, activists coming together, surely it's a sign. Um, if done in good faith, which it is a sign of unity, and what that does do, it installs confidence in some people because it does show our politicians, our activists, our community members are um, listening. Yeah, I do agree that we need to take this further. Yeah, and and um, that, but there has been some some work done, mm -hmm. right? I mean, more needs to be needs to be carried out. And in terms of um, Newham, I think we we um, we we do have um, a hopeful start. We have a new uh, a new candidate, which um, uh, a mayoral candidate, right? I think all her political and non-political career, she has been fighting against um, racism, right, mm -hmm. and discrimination from all backgrounds since. Mm -hmm we've known um, our new mayoral candidate. So it's, um, and the, the, good, good, uh, the good aspect of this is that she's open, transparent, and um, it's today I was at an event, and heart of her governance will be working with the people, not just um, working within some of the higher ranks. But... Um, one thing that doesn't really help is, um, I know um, cuts in different ways can, uh, people sometimes do make excuses, but in reality it has been that um, a lot of cuts has been made, mm. even to our NHS, mm -hmm. public service, mm -hmm. teachers, okay? I work in various organisations and I've seen the squeeze. We speak to people day in and day out, how it's affected them, right? And when it comes to crime as well, police have been reduced, all right? Police stations have been closed, okay, and we've had a lot of cuts that's enabled this to happen, unfortunately. Yes, now the remaining police officers we have, whether how, ef how effective they are, that's another question, okay, but without a doubt, I think ev everyone agrees here that with, with, with cuts, okay, 
there is a, a detrimental effect mm -hmm. to, throughout society, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we, we have a responsibility to, to all call out, I, I, th I think, to this current government, like the way they've been taking away all the services and privatizing, yeah, I think we, we have a moral obliga obligation to stand up to this. Oh, thank you. Can I just say, say that this is, as I keep saying, this is not a gossip program. I am here to make a substantial contribution, as substantial as my empirical knowledge allows me to do. And I am asserting again that I have never denied that cuts do have relevant detrimental effect. But if we talk about cuts, which is what predominantly happens to the sloganized politics, then we let off those who are not cut, those who are imposed. And I give you an example. Tottenham, where this girl, 17-year-old girl, died, the police are coming all absolutely milk-hearted, you know, everything, yeah? But that is the, also the place where I was there in October 1985 when the Broadwater riot happened. I was under the Broadwater farm in a car, okay? So I know what I'm talking about. Those boys that rioted, I'm not talking about the police being murdered, but those boys who rioted had no say otherwise. And I don't want to see society having to leave its problems to be solved by rioting youngsters. Mm -hmm. I want rational solutions. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying those, those people who rioted in 1985 are going to riot again mm -hmm. because things have got worse mm -hmm. and it is getting worse because the police are being accused of heavy-handed behavior with the black people who are in agitation now. So we have to ask Sadiq Khan. I completely disagree with Masoom saying that Sadiq Khan has started something. I totally disagree with that because Sadiq Khan is not doing it. It's this Linden woman that is doing it. She is the deputy mayor for policing and crime. She's a complete plastic. She was on television programs this morning and she was useless oh. talking about the murders and deaths and fatal stabbings of these young black and Asian people. So no. there is a mess no. in, in the... Um, 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 uh, hon bhai, for a deputy mayor, for a but Korbota here, I'm a prostrate. This is not Tarazino Korbota. Should I be asking a Let me give you the answer. You are saying that I'm, I'm, I'm criticizing everyone. Of course, I'm criticizing everyone. But what is the solution then? The solution is simply, sorry, Sadi Khan. You can't give my answer. Oh, no, no, I, no, no, I, I, he I, can't give my he, answer. He has <laughs> accused me mm -hmm. of dismissing everyone. Mm -hmm. He I'm is saying, trying his best no, no, you, under you, the cuts. Listen, you, know? you didn't hear mm -hmm. this. Okay, I'm not going to You didn't okay. hear this woman from Acme, mm -hmm. Linden, who has been promoted to deputy mayor for policing and crime. She's worse than plastic. Mm -hmm. She's useless. She's empty. Mm -hmm. And she should not be there. She's the one who is making the running for Shadi Khan on policing. Uh -huh. And that's not good enough. Uh -huh. Shadi Khan has to come out of the shell. You know, the egg shell, you know. He's sitting there and giving this woman to the... She was on Sky News uh -huh. talking about these this murders and deaths. And she was on BBC Breakfast and she was saying the same thing. Useless. Uh -huh. I'm saying that the London Assembly is useless. They are not holding Shadi Khan to account. Donovan, the BBC London news reporter, mm -hmm. was the only one who quizzed him and Sadiq Khan was making excuses. Sadiq Khan is not responsible. I'm not saying that. He is the mayor who can demand that the police deliver mm -hmm. the safety and security and accountability. He's not doing that. He's saying that he's going along with the... I'm not saying that Sadiq Khan is not responsible. Confident He's not delivering accountability okay, for thank the you. executive. Thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, just, just one second before that. Th th thank you. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, my apologies. But look, there has been a lot of good work by Sadiq Khan. Okay. Um, we understand. Good, for, um, good work for what? Good work in general in terms of 
um, from from one of the initiatives he did start uh, a hub where we can report hate crime mm -hmm. that wasn't there before mm -hmm. and also specialized police that deal with hate crime mm -hmm. okay so yes there's there's a lot of work to be done and when you have I'm sorry to keep on using this term cuts but when you have a lot of challenges around you right it's more difficult to um, sort of maneuver but definitely we need to make more progress and and I, I do agree with that but to think that we haven't uh, or Sadiq Khan, like he hasn't made, Im um, is trying to make improvements. I mean, I, I, I think I think that's uh, qu quite unfair. You know? Thank you, thank you. Um, um, Sadiq Khan is not the only one who comes in challenge uh -huh. with challenges. J politician Rapnanmen, I've got all these challenges. Kun politician ase apne koka je challenges sara, thena. Everyone's got some kind of challenges, but that's not an excuse. Uh, the hate crime uh, hub jeta by Akoida, it a uh, hub chilona, but you could have reported. Anybody could report it, and crimes has been reported and has been uh, uh, taken up and has been investigated, all sorts. But the thing is that aske aske hate uh, aske amra jeta dekhi it. It's not the only crime. Amra doctor jokhon amar maaba ka thakta, amra thakta. Amra gunta tandi, amar amar gunta tandi. Amar abar tu pilo ayegse. Salish talat tega dim marse. Tena abar biyat jay bol dim marse. Abar jay kapur subur khilla abar bairi se. They didn't sit inside. Amar dim marse. Ami gorobu ay thakta. They went and led their life. Amar marse ami arik rasta dia jaymogi. Ya amar soto bai tarer tarer classmate dora ni dise. Kita lagi don fila dekhe jay amar classmate. To kita lagi tumi dora koi jay amar moshe tumi arik faki tumi amar friends jeta budhi nai. Hera anondo futti korse. But it had an impact on us. The education wasn't there. But ami couple of things I I want to pick up on what. Brother um, Masumbai said about on uh, Niram and, and the cuts. Cuts, uh, uh, it has an impact. But cuts, when the cuts come, government cuts cuts. They cut everywhere. If they say 10% cut, 10% cut is also in, in Kensington, Chelsea, also in Chingford, also in Hertfordshire, Cornwall, and Tarhamlets. Mm -hmm. The difference is. After the Masha passes our pound income, Thake, and after Kono benefit Nitanaoi, Amazi Diazataka income Thake, Amad Diazataka income Nitoi, and the Akazataka income Thake, Sarazataka benefit Nitoi, the ten per cent cart will after Kono effect Nai, Amad Diazaru for two hundred pound, Tanya Sarazaru for Saisho pound, Tanu pre effect a Beshuibo. So self sufficient after the land, self sufficient oil best. That borrow needs to be self-sufficient. I want the Tahamr Sharma to borrow, borrow the, we only need 60,000 empl uh, employment to be self-sufficient. Our city as city as our canary wharf as Why can't we have 60,000 employment? It Amar kotha na. It allo je apne Travis, je apne political analyst. Tain ekko ayega soin. Niya me, you've got stadiums you've got city airport asset ago after stratford center i say why are they why are they a poor borough they have to try to get them up and running uh and everything is going to be really good no, but no, I, but I, no no hold on he's but it's, it's fine it's fine i understand i understand definitely. i understand there's a different okay, it's, a, it's a it's new a wave it's a, it's a new open, it's a new wave but instead of Singing the hymns and cheering from the sideline. Let's wait and see how things happen. Robin Wilson jokhon aisila toh mind she kub gan gay sila. Zamra ota kormo ota kormo. Luther jokhon aisila amra kub lafa aisila zamra ota kormo ota kormo. But let's wait and see because the historically in in Newham what has happened is that the administration dekhse je kar ka se beshi boat ase tarami cabinete raktam. They were not inclusive. Bengali councillor koi zona sila Robin Wilson. Bakka koi zona sila. Bangali ek zone cabinet dise ni no because tago ka se boat nai dise Gujarati ek zone Pakistani ek gure chaita cabinet asila chaita mo je shop bairer manush kala dise Gujarati dise Pakistani se Bangali ek zone ki competent asilo na ni na we will see what Roxana does Roxana when she becomes a, a mayor dekhum ne tek Bangali kaure cabinet a ane ki na chaita zone cabinet to if she is that great person if she is that very inclusive. What she will do, she will get another Gujarati, Gujarati group on a laggy, Kala Ajun and Bakala group on a laggy, Pakistan group, Pakistan and Allagi, and then you, they will have all these mantras, Sadi Kane Koibo, Amaru Guasetarelo, Homoka, all these favoritism solvo, the Indonesia answer, Hogbaikoazara, 
খবরলে দোকা তানের বোধ হয় একলগে ডিনারও খাইছেন বিকজ এ ফ্রেন্ড একজন সুপারিশ করতে হয় তারে দিয়া লাইছে পুলিশিং সো লেট দ্য টাইম কাম লেটস জাস্ট নট সিং ফ্রম দ্য সাইড লাইনস এন্ড শেয়ার দ্যাট আমরা রোকসানার ফ্যাক্সি উইল সি হোয়াট দ্য বেঙ্গলি কমিটি অফ ডি ওয়েল হোয়াট দ্য বেঙ্গলি কমিটি ইন ইয়া উইল গেট ইন দ্য নেক্সট 4 ইয়ার্স অবভিয়াসলি ইয়া উই উইল দ্য ফার্স্ট টেস্ট উইল বি উইল এ বেঙ্গলি হ্যাভ এ ক্যাবিনেট ইন ইন রোকসানার Rukhsan sure. and I will say no. Sure. She will have. She will not give a, a Bengali. A, a, even though, a, a, a even though we didn't that come will for be the start of the community. That will be a start. Sure, but that will be a start of a proper inclusive of all communities. I think Ruks, if we, even though we we came for a different sorry, subject, sorry, so since we've been talking about this, I have to say a few things. Obviously, what it is when one does, um, you know, from now, Rukhsana is not mayor at the moment. Okay, you know, she is a mayoral. candidate at She's the likely moment to be okay we, we, inshallah yeah <laughs> so why are no. we doing the canvassing talk okay. here mm-hmm. no this is why no because the brother has been uh, mm. has gone into ruksana i didn't no, want no, to no, make this to, uh, you said yeah, it that's so, why i said it i, I didn't it, i have not elaborated i didn't mention it i have not you, elaborated you on it so much because i was because no, no, because you were, about you were because you were championing it okay so, no, that's why i said let's okay. just not champion okay. because, so much. Let's because let's talk, we were talking about new because wait. we were because we were talking about new let's wait and see if you let me finish now yeah please we feel we before because we were talking about new ham that's why we had to bring the subject in now in terms of um ruksana's administration we have to wait and see who comes in who doesn't um only ruksana will and will know who is going to be in the cabinet or not mm. but definitely from the start a, ca- a candidate that has that would put a referendum on her own job right she said i don't know if if everyone followed that i would put a referendum on my own job so if the public does want a mayoral system they would have it and if they cabinet. don't if they don't have it that's different right? to an inclusive so cabinet so surely when you have somebody this transparent okay prior to what we had before it is a sign of goodwill and including everybody right within the decisions the public the community i mean that is something excellent from prior to what it was before Sorry, yeah, sure. but to move back to uh, what we are talking about yeah sure, sure. can i can i just clarify i have met you for the first time today on this program yeah and you said that what i said about sadiq khan yeah failing was unfair No I said totally no, no, like no no, um, no 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 I invite Sadiq Khan here on the record to join me on this program and debate with me on the basis of his achievements I'll write a letter to confirm this now I have done this to uh, Boris Johnson and Boris Johnson has not taken up my my offer I've been doing it since before he became a candidate yeah, yeah. so therefore I I've written all over the place about Boris Khan's deficiencies on the 10th of April sorry 10th of February at the public meeting here about Crispit market i said and christian shawcroft was there sitting in the front row that i have been a consistent critic of jeremy corbyn's inadequacies i have repeated this 6 weeks later because his inadequacies are all over the papers not that he is antisemitic but my concern about corbyn's leadership is that he is not broadly making decisions when they have to be made and i'm telling you that please don't do a canvassing here for ruksana mm. fears do something about sadiq khan and write to him no uh, write to him say definitely i'm not canvassing because this can I, can I new one came up can, and then we no, were no, talking no, about robin no, wells no, no, that's no, why please, please i'm, I'm not i'm not okay. denying it that, yeah. no, no, i'm not denying your come on yeah. right to speak no because i'm i'm only uh, i'm only concerned about the evidence and yeah. sadiq khan should know by now what i have been saying about okay. him since before his candidature because when he was made a junior minister can i just please tell you the history yeah sure Sadiq Khan was first made a minister junior minister by Gordon Brown. Now if you do your background research you will find that he was capitulating that is the word capitulating to the racist anti-muslim narrative. It is Islamophobia itself is racist and anti-muslim. Islamophobia is based on Greek and Latin and whatever. It says fear of Islam 
if you are already admitting that Islam is inherently something to be afraid of, then you are admitting also that Muslims pose a threat. Mm. So we have to say anti-Muslim or anti-Islamic, just like mm. anti-Semitic. Mm. That is that is a very important That's substantial right, point, you know. Yeah. So we have to contribute. We are not finishing this program, you know, just by con completely, you know, solving everything. We have to continue the debate in the dialogue. And the debate in the dialogue is continue and so long as human beings are there in societies, you know. And this is a society, I, I must say this, Muslims are not a minority. Mm -hmm. Muslims are a billion plus people. So we, if we are counted as Muslims, then we are of the billion people. Mm -hmm. So we are Muslims, full stop, not minority. We are Asians, full stop. Asians are billions. Mm -hmm. Highest number of population on the planet Earth, Asians, China. 3 billion plus. So Asians are not a minority here. So minority reduces mental state, you know, mental mindset, reduces our status in front of the attacker or defamer or the minimizer. So we have to raise all this consciousness, educate people. We have to re redo the curriculum. And it is not an offense to redo the curriculum. Thank you, Akbar. Thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> দাঁড়াই <laughs> 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 কোনো জিনিস আইডেন্টিফাই করেন যে রং হয়েছে জিনিসরে বুঝতে রাজি হইতা নাই ও কমপ্লিটলি অ্যাডভোকেসি করা আরম্ভ করবা আর যেটা আমরা লাগি খুব ক্ষতির কারণ আমি শেষ করি এইটির দিকে যখন আমরা মই মুরব্বির আর আইএফ আইসি দেশ রেস্টুরেন্ট কাম করছেন ফ্যাক্টরি কাম করছেন কিন্তু মাত কথা জানতা না কিন্তু এই যে দুই তিন দিন ধরে যে এরকম গরুর ভিতরে আমরা তালা লাগাইয়া বইছি আমার কাছে বড় আক্ষেপ লাগে যেমন আমরা আত ফাও নাই আতুর আমরা রেখে গরুর ভিতরে এক সিটিয়ে বন্দি করিয়া রাখে দিছে এই সময় ফিটা খাইছেন মায়ের খাইছেন হয়ে আমরা দৌড়া দাফি করছি চলা বিয়া করছি কমিউনিটির মাঝে কিন্তু ওহন করে এরা এরা ভবিষ্যৎ কি তৈরি হওয়া এরা তো ফিটিয়া গরু নিয়ে তুলে তৈরি হবে এরা যেমন কোন ইয়ে নাই শরীরে কোনো রক্ত নাই মঙ্গলবারে আমি দেখি মানুষ নাই আমি মানে কিছু ব্যবসায়ী লোক মারছি যে কি দাও কি দাও অবস্থা তো ভাই দেখো কি অবস্থা আমরা রোহানোর যে ইস্যু লিয়া যে আপনি যেটা আমরা যেটা ইয়ে করছি কিছু কিছু মানুষে আমারে বোঝার হুম আমারে বোঝার যেন এমনে না হেমনে এমনে না হেমনে ই করে সেই করে উল্টা বোঝায় উল্টা বোঝায় আমি হইলাম টোটাল ট্রাস্টি হিসাবে তো ওইছে পয়সা এই পয়সাটারে একটা প্রপার্টি নাইন থাউজেন্ড স্টক ট্রান্সফার হয়েছে এই স্টক রে তারা ট্রাস্ট হিসেবে লুক আপটা করার লাগে কিন্তু এজ এ সোশিয়াল ল্যান্ডলোড তারা প্রফিট নিতে পারে না না নিয়ে তারা করে কোন জিনিস ফ্যাট স্যালারি হল নেই নিয়া বই আপনার এমনি না এমনি বোঝায় আর আমরা কয় একটা সম্ভব কমিউনিটি আছে এগুলোতে পুরা দালালি করে করিয়া উত্তম ধর্ম করে দিস ইজ দি সিনারি কমিউনিটি need for inclusive, including Bengali, as you say, mm -hmm. counselors. I have to clarify the point. This is something I I have to say that it, it doesn't solve the problem. No, no, no. Please, 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 no, no, no. Let me just say, you, you spoke yeah. at length, so let me just say. <laughs> me, spoke at length. This is, this is, <laughs> okay. this is, no, no, this is something empirical. This is not a hypothesis. What has happened? Tower Hamblers have been saying that it has got a long housing waiting list. I'm talking about an issue, biggest issue, one of the biggest issues. And I have I've, I've directly you know, addressed this to all the community secretaries, you know, 
Sajid Javid is currently the one that has been promoted with housing deal. If you go to the housing department of Travelers Council, you will find that they are actually operating a homeless creation project. And I give you three examples, three series on channel four, mm. how to get a council house. If you view those, mm. you, don't, you don't have to you know, hear me say the contents. You can see that they were justifying homelessness, social exclusion and all the other things. And I wrote at the time in a thing that used to be called Eastern Citizen. They have scrapped it now. They have got only Hackney Citizen. But I wrote extensively saying that why wasn't a look, single Tower Hamlets councillor on the program? They gave the employees. That is not the job of the employees to come on television and justify a policy. It is the politician's job. And that is where the council, Tower Council failed. This happened before Biggs came in, you know. These, so, so therefore it's not the answer. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not going to say just because I don't like you, I'm disagreeing with you. That is not how it is. The evidence is the Tower Hamlets Council allowed council employees to justify social cleansing and homelessness creation on Channel 4. And Kevin Collins, Kevin Collins was the chief executive, the time, yeah. he went on television in 2010 and justified budget cuts. Just way. And nobody, none, none of the councillors went there. So this is something that is systemic dysfunction in Toronto's council. You can accuse me of accusing everyone of failing, but that is the evidence. You know, I have no option but to cite the evidence. So we need councillors, like you said, that we have no leadership. We need leadership from the council, democratic accountability to be demanded by the councillors. He said that none of the Lensbury councillors was to be seen. Absolutely. That is proof that Mushtaq has to do it. He doesn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. The councillor should be doing it. But he is here repeatedly. He has been here on, on your program several times making the points. You know, this is something that is showing glaring absence of political leadership, representative leadership, democratic leadership. And that is, you know, if you, if you like, if you, if you extend, you know, extend it and apply it across the UK's position on Brexit, that is what is happening. Brexit is a mess, and if you have the time, I'll read to you from the latest edition of Private Eye, but I don't want to impose it on you. I give it, these are the notes I have written attending a meeting of the Aspire Party, which is what I said I'd talk about at, 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 a, at a launch in, in Bow. And there was a long list of achievements they, they recited about what Luther Roman did. This was Aspire Party introducing Ohid Ahmad's candidature. But they were relying on the list of achievements that Lutford did. I'm only giving you the evidence. You know, it's not, I'm not making a prejudiced comment about it. And there was hardly anything that Ohid did except to say that he has been a councillor 16 years and he has held all the important positions. But there was a list of allegations against him. Biggs' administration, he has cut this, cut that, cut that. And there was a lone white person that I saw there, Lil Collins, who said that everything will be fine if Ohid is elected mayor and the Aspire Party candidates are elected. What I'm saying to that point that you made that if only because somebody is there from Bangladeshi community doesn't solve the problem because we have in Tower Hamlet's Council majority Bangladeshi councillors even now even now you look at the number of councillors there but I'm a Muslim now look for a one side is it an achievement of what I want to do yeah yeah the community talk to the highest from any you don't know me I'm the answer but it's a tiny election sure I thought Tower Hamlet faster as you no, no, my son, this is a high school to talk to you. I don't know if I'm not just going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you. Karan, Zay Lutfuraman Sari community, Afnar Koutonia, which is Koutor, my domain, Zetamani Koutor, Zeta Uisi. Here, but the Gitera Kuz Lutjasurum Nizi, Afnar Manera politics for the Abar or community. Here, what I got to meet up with Renani, Zay Lutfur Lutjasurum Nani. 
আমার কমেন্ট হইল আমি তো কেন গেছি না কোনো পার্টির পক্ষে আমি গেছি অবজার্ভ করা এবং আমি কেন বিয়ার যে পলিটিক্যাল ওই যে কইলাম যে আমরা ইলেকশন এখন পয়েন্ট হইল যে এখানে যেটা তারা মাতিছই ওটা আমি কইয়ার এখন আমি এখানে কোয়েশ্চন করছি না কোনো কোয়েশ্চন করার কোনো অপশনও আসিল না এইটার মিটিং স্পিচর বাদে মিটিং শেষ হয়ে গেছে গিয়া আমার পয়েন্ট হইল যে তোমার বাকি যে কমিউনিটি আছে তুমি জানো যে ক্রিস্পির মার্কেট সম্পর্কে তুমি ক্যাম্পেইন করার পরে শুরু করার পরে মানে তোমার প্রোগ্রাম হয়েছে তোমার কাছে অ্যাপ্রোচ আইছে মিডিয়ার মানুষ আমরা নাম হই না মিডিয়ার পরিচিত মানুষে তোমার অ্যাপ্রোচ করছো কোরিয়া স্পেসিফিকালি তোমার কয়েছে যে মোহাম্মদ কিতা লাগে কেন তো তুমি এক্সপ্লেন করতে হয়েছে যে কিতা লাগে মোহাম্মদ এইভাবে যদি আমরা মিডিয়ার লিডিং মানুষে প্রশ্ন করো তুমি আন্দোলন করো ন্যায় সঙ্গত একটা দাবি লইয়া আর মিডিয়ার লিডার হলে যদি তোমার প্রশ্ন করো হয় সরম খালি লুৎফুর তুমি কইলে তো আমি মনে করি এটা বিভিন্ন মিডিয়ার নামে ব্যবসা করো এরাও তো লুৎফুর সাপোর্ট করে এখনো তুমি লুৎফুর খোঁজ দিবি শরম নাই তা নাই আমি একটা কইছি না কিন্তু লুৎফুর সরম না যদি থাকে লুৎফুর তো গরম করা এরা আসা পোক দিয়া কথাটা বুঝছো নি মানে বিভিন্ন ধরনের রিপোর্টার বিভিন্ন ধরনের কমেন্টেটার বিভিন্ন চ্যানেল তোমার চ্যানেল বাদেও আইন না নেই কোন সময় দেখা যায় যে এই এম সি কলেজের খান্দাত গেছ না যারা এরাও এম সি কলেজ সম্পর্কে মাতো আমরা দেখি এখান থেকে দেখতাম পারি না কে কেন আসো আমরা যারা দেখি আর যেটা রং করা আমরা রুচি কেন খোয়া 